my lovelies i hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today my name is rachel and welcome to your daily tarot read i upload these daily tarot reads at 8 a.m every single day i also do weekly monthly and the zodiac signs every weekend so please do go and check out my channel and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you're uploaded every single time i um, upload a video it will also really help grow my channel which is something that i am trying to do so any love and support you could send my way i would really really appreciate it thank you so much okay so this is a collective reading for for all signs uh, please take the energy that resonates if it doesn't resonate with you then please leave it where it is i've got three tarot decks with me today the first is for what we need to know the second for information or guidance and the final one is for clarification uh, but at the moment, I am shuffling the Life Purpose Oracle card decks. Let's do a one card pull to see what message we need today. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what do we need to know today, please? What do we need to know today? One more. Okay. All right, we've got two cards that fell out. So, let's see what these ones are about. So the first card was animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So are you an animal lover? Do you, is it one of your um, dreams, ambitions, goals to, to work with animals? Because the second card here is travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. So you've got animals and traveling. Do you, um, have it always been a dream of yours? I feel like, I feel like for some of you, it may have been a dream of yours to go um, to like Africa or some um, other country and work with with animals, um, like go into sanctuaries and working for the animals that like animals that are hurt or, or with animals that hurt, like or go to. I feel like you want to go to like a gorilla camp. I, I'm sorry, a sanctuary. I don't know what they're called. I absolutely love animals. I really do, but that's not one of my dreams. Um, I'd love to go to Africa and see animals in their natural habitat, but to work with them, I think I'm just a bit of a pansy, <laughs> so it's not for me. But maybe travelling and working with animals is something that is um, in your in your bucket list. Um, but actually, even though it's just in your bucket list, it could actually be part of your life purpose. So if that resonates with you, then please take it. Okay, if it doesn't, keep listening because the tarot might have some other message for you. So angel spirit guys, what do we need to know today? Okay, we've got two cards coming out. One's flipped. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we've got the Empress. And we've got the King of Pentacles as well. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card. So the Ace of Pentacles is all about something new. I feel that you need something new. This could be a, a new wealth coming in. So the Pentacles or Coins, whichever way you want to call it. Um, it says that there is some, there's new wealth coming into you. Whether you could get a job abroad working with animals. Um... Or you could, uh, sorry, there was just a message that came through that distracted me. I was trying to get back into this again. So I feel that, that, that you need something new. There's new beginning. I feel that you want to go abroad and you want to work with animals, but financially you're not able to do so. Or you want to go, um, you want to travel, maybe take a year out, but the the money situation, the financial situation isn't exactly where you need it to be or where you want it to be. Uh, so I feel that you've got something coming in. You've got like a bit of a, a windfall coming in towards you um, or you're going to get a promotion at work. You're going to get a bonus. Uh, something's going to happen. It's going to give you the money uh, to be able to um, start living out one of your uh, one of your dreams, one of your ambitions. Then you've got the Empress. So the Empress is uh, very much female power. Um, it could be that some you or someone you know uh, could be pregnant or be it just about to become pregnant. I don't feel this is what that is, but it's a possibility. But I feel like um, you're going to be creating something that's going to bring you in the money to be able to go and fulfill a lifelong ambition and dream of yours. Now, that might not be animals. That just might be something traveling wise, like a year out or something. Um, it could it could mean that you want to go on this particular holiday, but it's cost money. You've You've had this um, idea, this intuition has come to you um, and it's you're going to create something that's going to bring you the wealth in that you need to be able to live out this ambition. 
Um, and then you've got the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, again, is all about wealth. You really have got some kind of um, financial windfall coming towards you here. Um, I feel that this um, idea that you've had or you've gone for promotion or you've gone for, I don't know, I don't feel like it's a promotion. I don't think it's a work thing. I think it's like your own business kind of thing. You just had this really good idea and you just put it out there and you don't really know what you're doing. You just seem to be taking the steps and going for it. Um, and it's going to bring you the security that you that you want in your life. It's going to bring this financial abundance into your life. But you need to be very confident as you go towards it and you need to take the lead of it. Because sometimes I feel that you like you let your negative Nellies kind of come in a little bit. Um, and it's about pushing them out so you can be the leader of this and you can really propel this forward to because you know you've got a lifelong ambition that you could possibly make into your reality here as long as you keep focus and then on the bottom of the deck you had the judgment card and the judgment card is all about um it's about you it's about i think it's about you judging yourself i feel like you're not sure whether or not you can actually uh, make this work um and this is about the judgment card um, as you can see, she's very free. She's flying above you. And I feel like I said before that you let the negative Nellies kind of step in a little bit and then you don't kind of move forward with it. You don't take the lead. I feel that you, with the Empress, you are going to take the lead in that because the, you're very much in your female power. And you're going to get your deserves. You're going to get what you actually deserve because you finally believe that you actually do deserve this. Because this idea that you've had that's actually going to uh, give you the abundance and the wealth that you want, it's going to change your life. Okay, can we have more information or guidance, please? Um, so you had the, the devil, but it actually came out reversed. Now, I don't usually do reversed. But I feel like I have to do this one because the devil upright is very much about being trapped, about being. Um, yeah, it's about being trapped. It's about challenging. Uh, it's about a lot of challenges. It could be about addictions. It's about like that negative mindset is keeping you trapped. But I feel because it's come out in reverse, you're not going to let it trap you. And even though there's challenges coming towards you, you know that you can handle them. Your wealth is coming in and there's not going to be like, you're not really going to have to jump a load of hurdles and obstacles for it to come in because you're very much in your power and you know where you're going and you know what to do. So you're just like, yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, okay, we've got a challenge. All right, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Let's keep, let's keep moving. That's the kind of um, energy that I'm getting from this. Okay. Then you've got the Seven of Pentacles, every single read this week. And then again, you've got the King of Swords. You've got two kings here. I mean, that's amazing. So the Seven, and on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is amazing. So the the um, the Seven of Pentacles is, I feel, it's all about growth. Um, so the Seven of Pentacles, as you can see here, he's looking at um he's looking at all the work that he's done but he's still got work to do i feel that's what you're doing you're looking at how you're looking at how far you've come you're looking at how much you've grown and now it's time for you to actually sit and um enjoy that but there's still more work to do there's still stuff that you need to do to be able to reach that level of abundance and and that you want to achieve it's still there's still work you've come far and it's good to look back and look how far you've come and maybe you have become, overcome an obstacle maybe you have to look back at what you've done before to see if there's anything there that can help you overcome this obstacle and this is what i mean with the devil in reverse i don't feel that you've actually um are taking things to heart like you're just like okay it's a challenge let's go how do i solve it let's go you're not getting stressed out over it you're not letting your like inner bitch come in and tell you, you can't do it now the king of uh swords again it's all about mental clarity so with the seven of pentacles i can feel that maybe you've had a bit of a challenge so you need to look back on everything that you've done how far you've come because the answer's in there and once you do that you're going to get the mental clarity that you uh, that you need um you're going to propel yourself even further forward um you are going to have so much power uh mental power like your mental 
um, for some of you, I feel that you've had a very negative mindset for a very long time and all of a sudden, there's just been like a light switch, like something switched on and your whole mental state has changed and you feel very much in your power. All the knowledge that you've been searching for, it's here. You you know exactly where you want to go, you know exactly what you want to do and you're very authoritative in the way that you do it. I'm doing this and I'm leading it and I really don't care what anyone says about me because I know the truth and that's all that matters. Um, I think you are flying. And on the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Cups. And look at the cup. It's overfilling and, and, and flowing out of the cup with how much abundance and wealth and love and everything else is coming towards you. Okay, this is a new beginning for you. You've been through a rough cycle and you're literally on the edge of it all being over. And this new cycle that you're going to come into is just unreal. You'll be full of abundance, full of love. You'll be very much in your power. Your mental state is going to be completely changing. I've just dropped a couple of cards. So the first card is, again, and um, it's a judgment card. You have that on the bottom of the deck. And then you've also got the temperance. And you've got the six of wands. And on the bottom of the deck, uh, you've got the four of cups. So the judgment card, again, is, as you can see, she's very much here and she's singing her trumpet. She's there. She's she's in her power. She's above the others. And I feel that's where you are. You know you deserve this. You know that you've gone through this bad cycle. You've done the work that you needed on yourself. You've done the work that you needed to do for you and for others. And now it's your time. It's your time to reap those rewards. And then you've got the temperance card. Now the temperance for me is make sure that you're balancing it out, that you're not running too much with your power, that you're still bringing yourself down and you're still grounding yourself. So using that empress of the female power, that love, that nurturing, that caring side, you still want to tap into that feminine energy part of you, as well as, um, having that authority and that masculine energy of confidence and power and moving things forward, you need to find a balance of them both. So that's what the temperance is saying. Make sure that you continue to stay grounded so that you can balance your feminine and masculine energies together. And it's also about being patient. Not everything will work straight away. Um, and that's what maybe the challenge is. Maybe not everything's gonna work the way that you want it to work and it's not gonna work straight away. You are gonna to have to have that uh, balance and you're gonna to have to have that patience to be able to uh, keep moving forward. And then you've got the six of wands. Now, six of wands, as you can see, she's got three wands either side, she's got her arms up. This is the victory card. You're gonna be very, very victorious in whatever it is that you are doing right now, whatever it is that you are thinking of, like right now, whatever you're thinking of right now, what this card could mean, that's what you're gonna be victorious in. Um, because usually that's your intuition telling you so you know you've got your arms up you're raising them you're like I did it I'm victorious I finally managed it I feel happy I feel free I'm ready to go but the four of cups here is just warning you not to be distracted as you can see she's so focused on this one cup that she's not seeing all these three cups down here a bit like the seven of pentacles so keep yourself grounded and make sure you're looking at everything that you've done in the past and what is in front of you right now so that you can actually move this forward. Don't be don't be distracted by one thing, okay? Make sure that sometimes you put that cup down and you look at it as a whole. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. Thank you for spending this time with me. Again, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. It will really um, help grow my channel, which is something I am really trying to do. So any love and support, I would really appreciate it. Um, these daily tarots come out at 8am every single every single morning. If anything resonates with you, then please drop it in the comment box below. I would love to connect and communicate with you and see what part resonated. Um, or if you look at the cards differently, please do drop a comment again. Uh, it will help me learn and help me grow too. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.